use transitions or transitional phrases. These are good ways to, I'll be honest, a lot of times when you're learning a new language, you tend to report things instead of having a conversation. Like, has this ever happened to you? Someone says, oh, how was your weekend? And you just report what you did. It was good. I went to a restaurant. The food was okay. It's really good for passing a test. Sure, you showed dominance of the language, but when it comes to conversational English, it sounds a little stiff, a little unnatural. So you can include things, oh, especially for changing the subject. Um, when I find that my students are a little nervous about changing the subject because you don't want to be rude and you don't really know how to talk about something different or the opposite problem, <laughs> I have some students who just change the subject. Without any transition, it does sound rude. And because I know them, I can tell them, and I know that that's not the way they mean it, but you might not have the luxury of having a teacher next to you all day long. And so these are things that you can do to help you confidently have more control of a conversation and just talk about things that you want. And if you're thinking, okay, Tanya, that's great, but what do you mean? So for example, the expression speaking of, I love this one and I use it all the time. When someone says something that kind of inspires a different story or thought, you can use that word or that topic, say, speaking of, mm, and then talk about your story. So if someone says, I bought these amazing shoes last weekend, you can say, oh, speaking of shopping, did you know there's a new mall? So instead of just saying the word buying, that reminded me of the topic shopping and it's linked. So you're not fully changing the conversation. There is kind of a commonality there. So that's where this expression really helps. So again, for that example, I bought these amazing shoes last weekend. And you could say, oh, speaking of shopping, did you know that there's a new mall? So speaking of shopping, and you can use this, honestly, in every situation, whether you're traveling and talking to someone new, for business, oh, these are so good. When someone mentions something in a meeting and you can say, oh, speaking of the report, da 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 da, da and then change the subject. Another good expression you can use is, that reminds me. So when someone says something that, again, inspires a thought, so there is kind of a linking, then you can say, that reminds me. So I, I was just talking to a student today who's traveling and I suggested if someone says, oh, the weather is so nice today, it's so sunny. I'm like, oh, that reminds me, I need to buy some new sunscreen before my trip. Now this can be used, I tend to use this when I want to think out loud. Like that doesn't really pertain to the conversation and I just happen to say it out loud. Now the other good thing is by saying it out loud, in that example, if I say, oh, that reminds me, I need to buy new sunscreen, then the other person might say, oh, where are you going? So it becomes a thought that you had out loud to back to being a part of the conversation. Remember, communication is the goal, and by having these opportunities, it's less of the typical textbook conversation of like, hi, how are you doing today? Great, the weather is nice. That's really good when you're first practicing, but these are the phrases that, so transitional phrases help you be more flexible, be more natural. And there's a long list of them. Don't worry about memorizing. Maybe just focus on using these two. And then you can find one or two more and incorporate those. So don't memorize, use them. I would rather you use one or two than memorize 20. Okay?